Hey guys, it's Chris Vaughn from the Sock Mob blog. Today I'm going to be showing you how to MacGyver your own end tidal CO2 detector. Min Lee Kong from the Farm Podcast also has a great version of this, but I'm going to show you how to do it using the side stream end tidal CO2 detector, which we have here. So the only things you're going to need for this are your side stream end tidal detector and a face mask or non-rebreather. The ASA is recommending end tidal CO2 for all procedural sedations, and this is an easy way to do it without any fancy equipment. So the least fancy way is to just take your end tidal detector, put it straight into a hole that you've cut in your mask, and then you have end tidal. However, this is pretty bulky on the nose, so what I like to do is take a 6.0 ETT tube adapter, put it in, and then you have a smaller hole on your mask, put it in there, and it's less bulky on the nose, more comfortable for patients. So let's see how this works. So you can see the end tidal waveforms picking up nicely there, very simple. The end tidal number is not reliable, quite a bit lower than what you'd expect with a proper end tidal CO2 detector, but this is a quick and easy way to see whether or not your patient's becoming apneic. I'm Chris Bond from the Sock Mob blog. Thanks very much for watching. Until next time.